Oh, there it is at the bottom goal. That is so big. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Oh, it barely fits. This might be my biggest lake trout ever. Oh my goodness. Look at this fish. Right on, thank you very much. Anytime. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, we've made it to White Hills Lake. The snow is just so soft and slushy that that ride took an awfully long time. Just waiting on Suka. Oh, he's catching up finally. It was quite a ways back, but it's not named Suka for nothing. For those of you that don't know, Suka means fast in Inuktitut. Coincidentally, it also means in Russian and Ukrainian, but I did not know that till after I named him, so he's now a bilingual dog. But we're gonna be camping out for the night, so I think we're gonna hop around to a couple spots till we find something that we're interested in, then set up all the gear and then get cozy. We got a lot of fishing ahead of us. Let's go. We're back out here on the ice, still ice fishing. I know a lot of you guys have been fishing from your boats for quite some time now, but up here in Nunavut, we still probably have like two or three more weeks of ice fishing left. We've once again got as far away from cell service and civilization as we possibly could. And we are camping out on the ice overnight tonight. We got Soup Dog along. I don't know where he is, he's somewhere over there. Hiding from the wind. It is ungodly windy out. But I'm gonna go punch one more hole. So we'll get set up, get cozy, hopefully get on some fish. And I guess I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling so you can watch me struggle through this next hole. It sucks and I hate it, but way she goes. Check this out. Track's pretty secure. Got her drilled in, and I think we're ready to start fishing. I guess. See you in the shack. So me and Soup Dog are getting pretty comfy up in here. I've already seen a couple fish swim through on the Garmin. I'm really hoping this spot's going to be productive tonight because that was a lot of work to set up. Okay, so I made Sook a nice little platform with these foam interlocking mats. I will eventually put a whole bunch more down, but for now, that should be all good. Whoa, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Whoa, that fish just charged it. Oh, got him. That's really small. Wow, that's really small. Incredibly small. Do you believe this, Suka? Wow, he's really showing off the sound that that dinner bell makes. It was too small to eat. Peace out. Let's get back down there. I don't know why I'm using the dinner bell. I don't even want to catch little dinks like that. 
Now I should tell you, last time I went out, I didn't make a video for this channel. I made it for the Frostbite channel and I caught the biggest lake trout of the year and of my ice fishing career. It was a 42 inch Solange. So if you want to see that whole ordeal, go subscribe to the Frostbite channel. It'll be up sometime before next fiscal year. Okay, I'm gonna get set up more. All right, got the Garmin cam going, got the floor mats laid out. I've slipped into something a little more comfortable, which just so happened to be some deadly assorted meat sweatpants. If you want to get yourself a pair just like these or some other ridiculous assorted meats merch, check out www.assortedmeats.com. But now that I think we got that out of the way, it's time to catch some fish. This is without a doubt the best part about winter camping is being able to just get comfy and enjoy ice fishing a little bit more. As you can see, got a set of deadly Crocs on. Currently set in 4x4 with the little back strap on. Might be a little deceiving. It's actually 10 p.m. right now. Didn't even leave the house till like 5 and we drove around the lake quite a bit to find a spot that we can set up. If you're new to the channel, up here in Nunavut where I live, in spring and summer, the sun doesn't really fully go down. So we currently have pretty well 24-7 fishable daylight. So the probability of getting a full good night's sleep tonight is slim to none. Oh, here comes a fish. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he bumped it. I think it's really small. Looks like there's a few fish on the bottom. None of which interested in eating, it would appear. If we weren't out here winter camping and already cozy, I would not be entertaining these little dink marks, but the thought of moving right now makes me want to vomit. So we're playing with dinks. Wait, what? Wow. Am I ever bad at fishing? So the location that we're at there's not a whole lot of risk for like grizzly bears and big scary things, but there's definitely a lot of wolves and there's definitely some wolverines, which may look cute and small, but they are ferocious. So I'm really hoping we don't encounter any of those. Just gonna get this dragon slayer back down there. I think I'm gonna stick with that for the most part. Nice medium sized bait. I'm getting very hungry. I think I may have to get some pho into me. Pho, these things are the best little ice fishing meals. Okay, so I guess we better fire up the Buddy Flex cooker. At first, I wasn't really too sure about this Buddy Flex heater cooker combo unit, but after using it for a season, it is the juice. It's so convenient to have a propane cooker. It just makes life so easy. Pilot lights lit. Buddy Flex cooker is Bumping now. I'm just gonna grab this here pot. Get a little bit of snow and toss it on the cooker. What we're doing here is called boiling the water. Subscribe for more cooking tips. Oh, there comes a fish! Ah, fish going up with the drain slayer. Leave me alone, Dink. I'm busy. Woo, that guy charged it. He's a little spunky. I literally can't even. Okay, I'm gonna try to toss this little hair jig down on him. I brought it for char potentially, if we decide to do that tomorrow. I think it might still be a little bit too early for char. If you're unfamiliar, char basically hibernate all winter long perk up in the spring when things start melting and water starts flowing. Then they make their journey all the way to the ocean to eat, only to return back to fresh water in the fall time where they spawn and begin hibernating again basically for the whole winter. Kind of a weird life for char lives, but they are just such amazing fish, both as table fare and as a sport fish. They just fight so unbelievably hard, they're so good. Don't you worry, I will get a char video ice fishing if it kills me. 
before this ice season is through. Don't you worry. I think it just might be a little bit too soon for that. Ooh! This one might be a little better. Well, no. I don't know if I should use the word better. A little less awful, maybe, is the right way to put it. This is fighting pretty wild. Oh, look at that. Would you just look at it? Come here, boy. Check them out. That's those marks we've been chasing. Get them back. Get some more. Hopefully one maybe like a little bigger so we can actually eat it. Got him! Back to back. Ooh, drag peeling. Ooh, okay. This one might be one to eat. This one's definitely a little more decent. This is a super light action rod. Woo! Wow. Okay. This fish is fighting so good on this little rod, it's actually quite fun. I can tell you almost certainly we will be eating this fish. I think it's an okay one for sure, at least. This rod says it's a medium action. It's definitely not. I'd say it's more like a medium light or something. It's pretty light. There he is. Wow, that's actually a decent one. Not bad at all. That's going to get eaten. I would say that that is essentially perfect eating size. Check that out. I almost wish I didn't start boiling this water because I would bonk this fish, slice them up, and put them directly into the pan. But I think I'll bonk them now. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut this fish up right now and I'm gonna put some little chunks of them in the bowl. So I'm just gonna fillet this boy real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up the one fillet for now gonna cut a little section here. I only need a couple of little chunks. Okay, save that for later. The rest of him for later. Give those pieces a little rinse. And then I'm just gonna toss these little electrode cubes in. Let them boil up a bit. And let's get back down there. See if we can't catch another. Hey, we're getting on some fish. We're gonna eat some of said fish. We're camping out, could be at home in bed, but instead we're out here in the elements, camping out in June, making a video for the YouTube. Oh, got another one. Just spanking dinks. I lost them. You really gotta watch what verbiage I use regarding dinks. I think that's the third time now that I've used some very poor language. There's a nice fat mark. There's another one. We're slaying dinks. I think that one's okay, right? Slaying dinks. I don't think there's any way we can turn that dirty. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. Only it was the slugger getting just bent over like this. There he is, another nice one. Maybe like a 24 inch or something. Would be a good one, but we still have like Two thirds of this other fish to eat. Okay, guy. Can you turn around? Can you do this? Do you need my help? Okay, I'll help you. There we go. See ya, boy. I think this fish broth may be 
getting close to being ready. Okay, then I think I'll grab a couple of these little fish chunks, put them into hoe. Now this was a spur of the moment idea. I've never done this before. This could end up making me want to vomit. Okay, so now I'll put that on top of there. Pour in some of the juice. I think maybe we'll let these cool over here and give those to Soup Dog, the leftovers. Soup Dog loves Lake Trout. Now this could either be fairly delicious or awful, but we will find out. Wow, the juice is delicious. Let's try a little chunk of lake trout. That is actually so good. Wow, that's amazing. I'm totally impressed and surprised. Well, shall we try to get back down there and get another one? I would definitely like a big one. All right, so it is now about 1 a.m. And although it is not dark out by any means, I would definitely say that it is low light conditions. So I've strapped on this little Send It Outdoors glow tube. Now the boys at Send It Outdoors, did send me a beauty little UV glow recharging flashlight, but of course I forgot it at home. But in a pinch, you can always use an LED, such as flashlight on your cell phone. Just shine that all over your glow lure, and that charges her up. All right, let's get that down there. See if this glow will make a difference in these low light conditions. Oh, there's another one, wow. They are super down for this glow tube. Got him, wow, he smacked it. Ooh. I'm not sure if this is a good one or not. Kind of hard to tell when you've been just catching little rinky dinky ones all day. But it definitely has more sauce than the last one. Okay. This might be an alright one. It's got some weight. This is definitely going to be the biggest fish of the night so far for sure. Keep in mind we're not using that little rinky dinky rod anymore. We're using the Mr. Big which has some definite juice to it. Oh boy, yeah, this is a nice one. <sighs> okay, I'm excited. Oh, there's a great big bubble. Two big bubbles. This might be a super good one. Oh, look at the bubble. Oh my goodness, those are big bubbles. Oh my goodness. Goodness, nothing gets my heart going more than seeing that. That is exhilarating. And those are huge bubbles. Is he up? We got him. Oh, that's a nice one. Sook, it's a nice one. Oh, that's a little better. Have a look at that beauty. Real nice change from those dinks. Get her back. See you, girl. Whew. We're at a lot of fish now. Plus one super nice one, like I'm already content. All right, boys and girls, I can't lie, I'm getting a little bit tired. It's about 2.30 in the morning now. I may have to kick Suka off my bed because I'm thinking I'm gonna have to climb into it. One thing, please, if you're ever going out camping on the ice, using a propane heater or any kind of heater, bring along one of these. It's a carbon monoxide alarm. There've been a couple tragedies over this past winter where people have lost their lives because of carbon monoxide poisoning in their sleep. I picked this one up for like, I don't know, $10 maybe on Amazon. Runs off AA batteries. And it could be the difference between waking up and not, to put it bluntly. Basically, I'm just gonna keep this thing on while I sleep. And if we get a carbon monoxide reading, then this thing will. That's the beep, that'll certainly wake us up. Now I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like mid height. Not supposed to leave it like right on the ground or anything. So I gotta find a good spot for it. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. This back plate has a couple of holes in it for hanging up. I think ideally with screws, but we don't have anything to screw it into. So what I'm gonna do is just tie a piece of fishing line around it. We're just gonna tie this up to one of the poles up here and that should do it. And there we go. Carbon monoxide alarm dangling and in action. I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit of sleep. I'm hoping to get woken up to some Peeling drag. I'm gonna leave the glow-in-the-dark tube just a little bit off the bottom with the drag super loose So if a fish picks it up, it'll start screaming, but I'm gonna cut the lights and get to bed. I'll see you when we wake up Okay, so come, come on, go, go to blanket, go, get You can't, there's no room 
There's no room. You can. Forget it. Suka. I knew you were going to do this, man. Are you serious? Wait. <coughs> Jeez, Suka. Oh, on, Juke. Go on, Juke. Go on, Juke. Good morning. Oh, I was just awoken. The sound of this real screaming. Is this a good one? Might be. Here he is, nice little cute one, first thing in the morning. Let's get him back. Ooh. Oh boy! Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, boy. All right, I'm gonna use this longer rod and the dinner bell so I can jig comfortably from bed because I am still so tired. Only slept like maybe three or so hours. Whoa! Let's get that down. Oh, I'm so going back to bed. I'm too tired. Whoa! Oh, fish on! I'm still not ready. This feels like an alright one. I guess I should get out of bed. Ugh. Oh, got him. Not a bad one. There he is. Not a bad second fish of the morning. I guess you could call it that. All right, it's about 7.30. I initially got up about an hour ago, but I wasn't quite ready. I still don't feel that ready, but I think we're just gonna have to suck it up and get up now. Hey, Suk, what do you think? Did you have a good sleep, boy? I wonder what time Suka eventually got off me at. Pretty sure when I fell asleep, he was still laying on top of me, like a big needy boy that he is. Oh! Yeah, that's what I feel too, bro. Whoa. There's definitely some fish down there. Let's drop the dinner bell on him. We're going to pad the stats a little bit. There is little dinner bell. This is going to be the char money when they start waking up from their slumber. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> What was that? I did not have a good grip on the rod. <laughs> oh my god. Why? He came and checked out the dinner bell. So I'm gonna get the dragon slayer back down there because that looked like a sizable mark in comparison to the others. Oh, big mark, big, big, big mark. Oh, come on. 
Holy smokes! This is the biggest mark I've seen the whole time out here. Here he is, here he is. He's chasing. He's gonna bite. Come on. Oh, there's two! What is going on? Oh my goodness, and it's behaving big too. This fish is acting so strange, so much different from all the little ones. Come on, bite it. He's right on it. Look at how huge that mark is. Okay, here he comes. Oh. Got him! Wow, those are big head shakes. This is gonna be a good fish, I think. Oh my goodness. I think this is gonna be a good one, guys. Oh, look at those head shakes. Like, it feels so heavy, I can't even move it. Oh, this is the one. Like, look at the bend in that rod. I don't know if the head cam is going because the GoPro batteries are dead. It's right at the bottom of the hole. Oh, that's a big effing tail. Oh my goodness. Oh, right back down. I got a glimpse of his tail and it looks huge. Oh, no, rubbing on the bottom of the ice, I don't like that. Oh, that's a stud. Holy smoke, Suka. Oh, that's a big lake trout. Woo! Oh my goodness. Nice and easy. We're not going to horse him. Because that's when bad things happen. It's like you gain on him just a couple feet and then he just puts the brakes on. I'm gonna actually keep the drag pretty loose here because if he's hooked kind of ugly, just like in a little flap of skin or something, then I don't want the power of this Mr. Big to allow that hook to rip free. I wouldn't be so concerned if I didn't think this was such a big fish, but that looked so big at the bottom of the hole. Its fins looked huge. It's like the one from last night felt big, but it didn't feel like it had this kind of weight at all. Like this thing is just heavy. And like this rod, this is a 43 inch heavy action frostbite Mr. Big. It's not like we're using some rinky dinky little rod here. Holy. I think we got him hooked pretty good. He's starting to gain on him some, but I don't think he's done yet. I'm nervous! I'm nervous! I'm gonna poke my rod tip down because I really don't want this braided line to scrape against the sharp bottom of the ice too much. These braided lines aren't very abrasion resistant. I also do have a 25 pound floral leader, which is literally crucial, especially when hooking up with big mamas like this. Because while they're fighting and head shaking and stuff, that line is gonna be just raking against their sharp teeth, and it doesn't take a whole lot of that action to cause some abrasion in your line and break you off, but fluorocarbon is just so much more abrasion resistant than pretty well any type of line. Man, this fish! How big is this? Oh, I just felt it scrape. Man, right back down. This is a monster. I'm convinced this is a monster. I'm starting to see some abrasion marks on this braid. Oh, there it is, that's so big. Oh, that's big. Holy smokes. Oh, that's big. Oh, we, oh no. Oh no. I'm so nervous. There were a few spots on the line that I noticed looked not like super bad, but a little bit frayed. So I'm definitely gonna have to change this line after this outing. I'm just really hoping it holds up. Come on, group. 
please. I'll treat you so good. It's so big. Its tail looked like it was like two feet wide. You've got to be going on 45 minutes hooked up to this fish. This is unbelievable. How big is this fish? From what I've seen at the bottom of the hole, it's huge. This fish might beat the fish from last weekend. We're going on 50 minutes hooked up with this fish. Starting the game. Starting the game pretty good. Okay. Oh, there it is at the bottom of the hole. That is so big. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Oh, that's so big. Oh, come on. Get up the hole. Oh, it barely fits. Oh, oh that's so big. This might be my biggest thing short ever. Oh, Suka. Oh my goodness. Look at this fish. Oh. oh. Jeez! Oh, 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 Look at this beast! Oh, I can't even hold it! Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Look at that beast! Oh. I'm gonna pop it back in the hole just for a drink. Oh, my goodness, you guys! Let me just regain my composure. Oh, this is such a giant old fish. I'm gonna give you guys one last look at this big freaking monster. Oh, baby. Ugh. Look at that thing. Okay, now I don't have the bump board with me. So I'm gonna measure it against this rod. That's about a half an inch longer than the Mr. Big. That's a 43 and a half inch lake trout. Let's get her back. Oh, this monster. Look at that. It fills up the whole 10 inch hole. I'm just gonna hold it in the hole. Give it a few seconds to catch its breath. And she'll be on her way. There she goes. Yes. Oh my goodness. That was a freaking giant. I really don't even know what to say right now. We've spent the last eight months out here on the ice, grinding it out through blizzards, through 60 below zero temperatures, drilling through six, seven feet of ice. We've taken six hour round trips into the middle of nowhere. We spent half a day in travel alone to get to these spots that are so far away from civilization in the middle of nowhere, all by ourselves. Well, with our boy Souk. And back to back weekends, it's paid off with giants. That fish right there is without a doubt my second biggest lake trout ever. I've caught only one bigger and it was in the summertime from shore, believe it or not. That was an hour long battle that the Frostbite Mr. Big handled beautifully. And the menu item of choice, Dragon Slayer 2.0. Crushed it. Well, I don't know where we go from here. I think that's a beautiful spot to wrap this up. You know, I was fully satisfied with this trip, catching a whole bunch of dinks in that fairly nice one last night. But to wrap this trip up with a fish that was literally 10 inches bigger than that, there's no words. Thank you guys all so much for sticking around and hanging out with me this winter. All you guys watching are a big part of the reason why I did a lot of these ridiculous things that I've done, including fishing with crazy items and going on these crazy long trips. You've motivated me more than I can even explain. Thank you to everybody who likes and subscribed and comments on all the videos and stuff. I appreciate you guys all more than you know. You know, usually the worst part about ice fishing is the rip down of all the gear and packing up, but I'm gonna be doing it with a smile on my face today, guys. Thanks again for watching. Till next time, peace.